Good morning! So I'm going to be teaching a muscle conditioning class in about an hour and I figured what the heck I'll show you what I eat in a day and a little bit of vlog going on. So for breakfast I'm having some oats. Cold water here and I'm just soaking my oats. So I make like a pudding out of it. Chia and flax, both high in omega-3s protein, awesome for us, nice fiber. The thing is, you're going to want to soak them, or at least for flax seeds, make sure they're ground in order to absorb the great nutrients. Just taught an awesome muscle conditioning class. Here is my interval timer. Love that thing. It really keeps the class moving. 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Amazing. Now I'm off to the organic garden because someone called in sick, so of course, I'm on call and I'm gonna sprint over there, get changed, no shower needed. I'm a cable running cause the winner don't quit on themselves. Tortilla with romaine, carrot, chopped tomato, red onion, celery, and now we're putting on tempeh with a buffalo sauce for my... Hey, it's super late. It's what? It's literally like 12.30 right now. I got home around 10.30. As you can see, I had a legit 12 hour day. I worked 10 hours at the restaurant, taught a muscle conditioning class this morning. I still haven't showered. And for anybody who's trying to figure stuff out, um, I have this quote that my friend sent to me that I really like and I wanna read to you. It's by F. Scott Fitzgerald. For what it's worth, it's never too late or in my case too early to be whoever you want to be. There is no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you can make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. With that, from here on out, let's make decisions out of love, not because we're afraid, not because we're afraid of not making enough money or whatever it is. We have to enjoy it. And yeah, there's lots of stepping stones to get there. There's challenges, there's struggles, and we enjoy those struggles. But as part, as long as it's part of, part of that bigger picture, what's your mission in life? What is this life something that you're proud of? And if it's not, I'm going to have the courage to start all over again. And I'm so excited to be applying for jobs, putting myself out there. I'm so excited to have new experiences. 
I'm excited to go forward knowing that I have the courage to start over again if it's something that I'm not proud of. I hope you feel the same way. Let me know what you think. So much love. Get some sleep. Have an awesome life. Keep in touch. Bye.